Hello everyone and welcome once again to Scorpion Cigar Reviews. Today we will be reviewing the Arturo Fuente Hemingway short story. This is the, uh, the natural wrapper. It's also available in Connecticut Broadleaf, Maduro, and in a barber pole. And this particular cigar comes in a size of 4.5 by 42.49. Uh, perfecto. Runs uh, just about six dollars per stick. So uh, and I'm here once again today with Larry. Hello. See, Larry just had a birthday yesterday. You are how old now? Sixty-seven. Thanks for asking. <laughs> You're welcome. And by the way, these uh, cigars are a birthday present from Ian. Thank you, Ian. You're welcome. You're welcome. These are. Uh, one of Larry's favorites. I don't know, the favorite or just? I mean, I know you always talking about how you like these, and uh, I do like good. them. They're a, they're a fine uh, smoke for. A, you have a short amount of time. You want to want to have a good smoke. It's this fits the bill. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, all I do need to do is cut this thing. Right. Right. So we can go with, um, if you like, we can go down uh, this list that we missed last time we did a video. And if we go with the, uh, the appearance of the cigar worth a total of 15 points, and the, the wrapper look, all right, uh, to me it's uh, kind of a mottled brown. It's not you know, totally even colored, but you know, that's not a problem. It's, um, it almost looks like it might have a... Uh, Reminds me of kind of a bronze color, how it seems like there's like an underlying color perhaps, but yeah. Seams are tight. They're looking perfecto. And for such a small cigar, it actually has some pretty good weight to it That's for the size. Way, I've, I've had cigars two, three times the size that didn't weigh this much. So it's probably got a good, good firm pack to it. Um, so yeah, I think uh, as far as the, the look, that's maybe a little bit rough. It's a little rough around the edges. Maybe it wasn't uh, handled at the cigar shop very well. You know, people go in there at the cigar shop, they'll pick right. them up, they look at them, they sniff them, they drop them, they Whoop. put them back, you know. Okay. So, but uh, I'll, I'll take off a little bit for that. I'll give it four and a half out of five points there. Cigar weight, yeah, full, full points for that. I won't know about the label application just yet. I'll smoke it down a little bit. Although I can tell it's not sticking to the cigar wrapper because I can actually give a little, actually, maybe I'll go ahead and take it off now. I just slight little twist and came right off, so we're good to go. Did you know? Too, yep. No, no damage there, so there was no excess glue or anything, so I'm going to give that a 5.0 on, on that. Uh, I concur. All right. Now the feel of the wrapper. It's, it almost, it, it has almost an oily character to it but at the same time it's it's kind of there's like a roughness to it okay. so it's um I think it's wrapped pretty well yeah for uh, this, this size cigar it's uh, it's a quality wrap I think. oh yeah well yeah the perfecto is is the most difficult shape to to roll so you know when, when you look at the cost of six dollars for you know, Correct. Twenty minutes worth of smoking. There. The work yeah. is there. Yeah, and, and that's where your money is going is in the rolling of the cigar. So you know, typically you wouldn't think that they would spend the effort and the money rolling right. a crap cigar. So they you did. wouldn't take a fifty cent cigar and put a six dollar roll on it. Correct. So, Not for long. Not for long. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Not for long. All right. So the wrapper feel is slightly oily. Firm pack, good firm pack. Now, you can nose the wrapper, but it's kind of hard to nose the foot being a perfecto because it, it, it gets pinched off and there's, even if you shove it up your schnood, you can't, can't get much from it. So, 
You just rely on what you get from the wrapper. And honestly, it's pretty odorless. Yeah, there's not much there. As far as cigar goes, this is a. If I really dig deep, there's a little bit of sweetness, like honeysuckle way, way in the back, way back. A little bit of grain. Make sure it's not my hands. Dirty dog and butthole. No, wrong one. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I, I'm picking up a very, very slight hint of honeysuckle and grains. Did hit the sweet note. Yeah, it's very subtle. You really have to. You have to Sniff dig deep. deep. It's Sniff it's deep. way back there. It's there. All right. Now in order to get your pre-light draw flavors and whatnot, you have to do a cut. Now I'm gonna do a scissor cut. I've only used this once or twice. It's kind of kind of stiff, hard to open, but once you get it open, it works just fine. No. Is that mine? No. No! <laughs> Why, do you have one like this? Yeah, I do. Oh. <laughs> I got this, um, the lighter that I had with me last time, the four torch, and it had the little pull out in the bottom with right. a little punch. Um, this and that lighter came together with uh, a cigar order. It was a package deal. Mm -hmm. um, thank you, deal. A thank you, deal. Yeah, yeah. But there, there's a trick to using scissors. And I haven't learned the trick yet, because I mangle a cigar every time. Would you like to try? I'm good. Okay. I'm ready. And of course, the other trick is trying to get it folded back up without cutting your fingers off. Okay. Just keep it up. That's right. And then, make this nice little mess. Alright. So, there's definitely some leather there. And once again, it's hard to get a pre-light draw through it because, because the foot is pinched off. Right. You, you don't get a whole lot through it, a whole lot of air through there on a draw. But, I'm definitely getting some leather. A little bit of spice. The leather is the big story for today. All right, now I do the you can't kind of get that new wallet smell out of it, can't you? Yeah. About time to fire up. I believe so. You're using your 97 cent Bic? I am. I'm using my $70 iCar. See who wins this race. <laughs> Probably you. Look at that, you're already smoking and I'm still toast. This goes to show money can't buy everything. They can buy a really nice lighter. <laughs> <laughs> Guaranteed for life. Watch your beard. Good blast of pepper right off the bat. 
Good blast. Good blast. Yeah, especially on the retro hail. Good blast of pepper. But it was it was very pleasing. Sometimes when you first light a cigar and you retro hail it all through your nose, you get that blast. And sometimes it's unpleasant. It's mm -hmm. just it was just, oh oh why did it do that? Oh, this is just the taste, not the effect. Right, right. It, it's it, it's a strong blast, but it's strong on taste and flavor, not just on on that punch in the face. They're a very enjoyable cigar. I was first introduced to these in 1999. And I usually get, uh, get them throughout the year every now and then. Usually uh, people know that I enjoy them so that when gift time comes around and mm -hmm. that's what Uncle Larry gets. That's right. Short stories. That's right. And they, they are they are a treat. They're a treat for me. And and that's the key. Alright, because you have your your everyday smokes. You have your La Fincas. Mow the lawn in them, do the dishes in them, slobber all down them, you don't worry about it. Who cares? Or a buck, a buck thirty, whatever. Right, a buck a stick. Yeah, a buck a stick. Cool. But for a buck a stick, they're a darn good smoke. Right. Uh, but something like this, this isn't something that you would, you know, you wouldn't be uh, unclogging the toilet while you're smoking one of these. Correct. You'd be sitting down, relaxing, enjoying, saying, hey, I'm going to take 20 minutes, I'm going to enjoy something. Right. And maybe by thinking about everything that's on a sheet like this, whether you fill one out or not, but if, if you remember, the types of things that we're looking for when we fill this out. Next time you sit down and you're going to smoke one of these, or any cigar. Well, you'd be surprised. I talk, talk, uh, spoken to people that say, I've thrown cigars bigger than that away. I said, well, yes, you have. You'd be surprised how long this cigar is going to last you. Yeah. It's not a, a quick smoke. No, and, and you savor it. If it. Now, unless if it's something that, hey, I got 15 minutes to smoke a 20-minute smoke, I better hurry. And you just suck it down. Well, why? Better buy a cigarello. Yeah, get a cigarello. Or smoke cigarettes. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, this will last long enough, easily for your second glass of... What's that stuff they make in Tennessee? The bourbon? <laughs> the bourbon. <laughs> the bourbon. <laughs> Notice I didn't say Virginia. Right, right. Because we know what, what's made here. Right, right. Well, I guess, actually, Tennessee, I guess they, they call it, they just call it whiskey. Kentucky, they call it, you have, you have two levels. You've got whiskey, but in order to be bourbon, there are more stringent guidelines that they have to follow, further refinements and different things like that in order for it to be legally classified as bourbon. Yeah. So, yeah, for a Kentucky straight bourbon... As opposed to uh, just a whiskey, which would typically be a mixer. Um, then you have the Tennessee whiskey. Um, I usually don't pour this much bourbon in my glass, since you did. <laughs> Will you join me? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, buddy. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll continue smoking this and uh, we'll talk about it a little bit off camera. We'll come back, uh, you know, five or ten minutes, somewhere in the first there. Okay, sounds right. good. See you in a bit. Almost 15 minutes in now, real close. Tapped off, uh, I don't know, not quite half inch chunk. I did have to touch mine up um, before we started the camera, shortly after I lit it. Um, it just... One part wasn't really burning, so I went and touched up and hadn't had any trouble since then. Uh, but being a perfecto shape, because you're only lighting that, that little tip, sometimes you don't don't get a good even burn all the way around. It happens from time to time. But um, so we were talking, and the subtles are very, the flavors are very subtle. They are. Um, there's a little bit of that pepper there. Um, not really a like a cooking pepper or a white pepper, but it's not like a table pepper either, something in between. I'm putting, thinking paprika. Not you smoke? think so? Paprika? Yeah. 
which is a mild, you could be right. Mild enough. Now, I must admit that from when we were talking a moment ago to now, it's getting a little bit stronger. The, the smoke output's a little greater. Now, it also could be because um, I had to touch mine up, and then now it's burning, then I tapped off. I'm actually getting a lot stronger smoke uh, now than I was initially. Initially, yeah. right, right. It is. But, but the flavors are still pretty subtle. Um, and there's still something in there that I can't quite determine. It could be that it's the paprika because... I thought maybe it was something along the lines of the pepper, and then I thought I picked up like a maybe a, a wet leather or something, but it, it, it wasn't quite hitting the mark. And then when you said paprika, I got to thinking maybe that's what it is that that cross between the pepper and the leather that I, I was trying to break that flavor apart too much, and maybe it is paprika. You could be spot on with that. Most pleasant. Yeah. All right. Um, and I'm getting some initial waxing on mine. Waxing. What do you mean by waxing? A little, shine, a little shine, little sheen to it. From from burning. From burning. Okay. Okay. Where? Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. Where it's making the, the oils within the tobacco yeah. tobacco are being forced to the yeah, outside. Okay. 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 What else do we have? Yes, and I'm, I'm burning uneven again. So, I, I definitely have some issue. Because it's that $79 lighter. <laughs> could be. Or, or it could have been my cut. If you can see my, my yeah, cut's I got a little thick. angle on mine also. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I use the scissors, and I'm, I'm not very proficient with scissors. Um, and uh, it was a little, little choppy. And, you know, these aren't high-end. These aren't Zycar. These were you know, whatever brand it is, but it's, you know. And they're new, so they're still a little hard to work yeah. with. And, and this is probably only the second or third cigar I've ever scissor cut. Practice, 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 practice. practice. That's right. Yes. Well, this is a... Uh, it's smooth. It is. There's um The strength is definitely picking up. It is. It is. So the, the strength is picking up. As any cigar will. Right, right. Um, we're probably actually more in, into the second, third now as we're 20 minutes in. So the strength is picking up. Not to the point of like smoking a roach of a cigar where you're burning yourself. This is just intensifying minutely. It's not a right. Um, a harsh draw. It's no. still smooth. smooth. It's yeah. just getting more intense. What about the mouth feel? Kind of creamy? That's what I'm getting. I'm getting kind of a creamy mouth feel. Is that what it is? That's, yeah. When you say cr creamy, you mean the taste? No, the feel. There's the no feel. creamy taste. There's a feel, kind of slick and cool. And hmm. we all do that. I never knew it. It had a name for it. Well, not all do. Some will leave you very dry. Yeah. I didn't know. I've never heard the expression creamy before. Yeah, the smoke would be very slick and almost oily. Yeah. It, it, it like coats the mouth almost. Um, not the smoke directly that's doing it, but it's like the after effect. It feels like there's something slick, like you just had something slick and you spit it out and you still have that coating. Okay. There's yeah, a little bit of creaminess there. Anything else that you're getting from it at this point? I'm getting some sweetness right now. Really? A little bit of sweetness? I am. I'm getting a little bit of a nicotine kick. That kind of, that burn in the chest. There's still something else there that I can't quite, I keep wanting to lean towards leathery, but it's not. It's 
it seems the, the smoke seems sweet, but it doesn't taste sweet. I think you uh, you surpassed, like you, you were saying, it, it felt a little stronger and stronger. And I think I agreed with you there. Now I think it's mellowing out. It's getting to a point where. Well, yeah, because when I got it where all of a sudden it, it seemed like it was stronger, right. it was at the widest point on the burn. Right. Now, it being, being the perfecto, how it, it's like pinched off at right. the end when you first light it, the smoke's kind of thin, you're not getting a whole lot until you burn through that little tip and you get into the bulbous portion of it. That's where you felt your strong part. Yeah, yeah, uh, about half an inch in, and then it got strong, but yeah, you're right, it is starting to, starting to taper down a little bit as the cigar tapers down. Correct. So, but at the same time, because of the shape, it's, it's going to be slightly tapered. So as you smoke it now, all those flavors are going to become concentrated. And and that may be that kind of where I'm getting that kind of nicotine kick because it's it's directing right. the nicotine that's in there. Um, and I'm getting I'm seeing now the little waxing that you were talking about mm -hmm. where it's starting. I'm getting a little yeah, getting a little bit of waxing from from the heat as the cigar heats up and mm -hmm. is forcing the oils to the surface. Yeah. Well, this is the kind of cigar you need to pair a pair of hemostats with if you really want to enjoy it to the end. Maybe all the way down to the end. Or a toothpick. I've seen where guys will get down to the end, around the toothpick through it, and they'll hold the toothpick and they'll smoke it like a roach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Might put a roach clip on it. Or, or if you keep, keep some long fingernails, you can pinch it. I've done that before. I've had cigars before that I, they got better as you got to the nub. And you just, I just couldn't stop smoking them. They were just so good that I was pinching. In fact, I did a, a video a couple years back. I even mentioned on the videos, like, I'm burning my lips, but it's so good. I can't stop. <laughs> All right, well, we'll continue on, and we'll come back uh, somewhere in the, uh, where are we at? Well, we're already in the second third. We'll come back somewhere uh, in the second third, into the final third. Into the final, final run. Yeah. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. All right, so we've been smoking this for about 35 minutes now. Now, I've picked up quite a bit of uh, mineral notes. But you said you're, you're not getting that, but you're still getting sweet. I'm still getting a... Not really sweet, it's just... Smooth and... Uh, sweet is too strong a word. It's just a... Uh, I guess sweet. <laughs> Semi-sweet. Semi-sweet. There you go. If you were to compare it to, say, a bottle of wine, dry would be a, a Chardonnay and right. sweet would be I'd give it a, Merlot. a Moscato Musca or something. Moscato would, too sweet. That would be too sweet, but maybe a white Zinfandel or a Pinot Grigio would be sweeter than a Chardonnay, but not as sweet as a Moscato or, or even as sweet as a uh, Niagara or, uh, or a white Zinfandel, but something a little less sweet than that, maybe a Maybe a Pinot Grigio or a Pinot Noir or something like that. Something mm -hmm. light like that. Yeah, just a very slight amount of sweetness. Okay. Yeah, it's not like a, licking a honey stick or anything like right. that. But it's, right. Okay, I could see that. And very, very, very subtle on the sweet. Just and you're getting a mineral taste that I don't, I don't find, but that's my palate. Still no bite. I, yeah, yeah. There's no bite as far as it, it being on your tongue. Yeah, there's nothing no there. But I'm tongue. getting that, like on the retro hail, still that that peppery kind of. Yeah. Slightly. It's getting pungent. more intense. It's getting more intense, but it's not. Uh, it's starting to heat up pretty good. Well, it gets to your thumb. Yeah, <laughs> so it gets to your to your lip or whatever, and starts burning that. But they're hard to put down. You wait till the very end. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we're we're getting there. There's not a whole lot left. There's probably uh, from the all the way to the burn line. You're, you're looking at maybe an inch and a quarter yeah. here. Let's so save the rest for tomorrow. <laughs> There's always tomorrow. There's always tomorrow. 
Put all the butts together and roll them up. There you go. <laughs> I have friends that uh, buy cigar holders just for situations like this where right. you don't want to risk uh, burning yourself and you don't want to throw the cigar away yet. So right. a cigar holder holds a little cap on the end. You can right. smoke it until it hits like a cigar holder. There's a guy that I know, offhand I don't know his name, but I, I know him from Milan. Um, he has all these cigar holders that he has made, custom made. They're wooden, he carries a little pouch and have different, different sizes, sizes for yeah. different, oh. yeah, and he, he sticks it in there and and he can smoke all the way down until there's nothing left. Yeah. So. I've never tried it, but a cigar like this, I wish I had one. Yeah I, yeah, I could definitely see a time when you might want that. Often, you get to a certain point and all the, uh, you know, any impurities that are in there, the, the nicotine and, and any tar that might be in there that didn't get fermented out and, and, and everything during the process of drying and curing the tobaccos and the fermentation and everything sometimes the, you don't want it all gone because that's where your flavor is but as you're smoking it and as it heats up it all gets concentrated toward towards the very tip there that you put in your mouth yeah. and so as you get down low they'll often become bitter but if it's fermented really well you won't, you won't get any. You don't want any kind of goo or any kind of tar, kind of nasty stuff. Cause that stuff will be very bitter. It is. But but often you will get that when you get down to where you're you're burning your fingers on it. Sometimes you'll get that. But um, so far I'm not getting any of that with this. And I'm getting a little bit of that sweetness now too, almost a like a cedary sweetness. Without the cedar taste, I'm not, not getting any. You're not getting any cedar. I'm, I'm getting this real subtle. You got out. You are. Yeah, a subtle cedar sweet. Getting the sweetness, I can't relate. Okay, we're down into the nub now. That's yes, about are. forty minutes in. So I'm picking up a little bit of cedar sweetness. Well, old friend, I hate to see you go. Yeah. We're uh, pretty much down in the end. You gonna try sticking a toothpick in it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing you brought more than two. <laughs> That's right. Thank you again. Sure. Now, for me, you, know, you can get this in a uh, Connecticut broadleaf Maduro, and typically, that would be a sweeter cigar. Yeah. Broadleaf Maduros are just through the process of fermentation and things like that. That wrapper leaf would give you a little more sweetness. I have never tried the Maduro. Last time I, I brought five or six of them, I, I threw a couple Maduros in there. That you did, yes, mm -hmm. yes, that you did. Yeah, I think I had like four of the naturals and two of the. Well, it must have been good because I didn't have any complaints. <laughs> <laughs> so next time, maybe I'll just get all Maduro. And we can... I have to wait a year for these? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. Well, that's about it for me. I um, can't think of anything else to yeah, support. We can... Uh, Tell up our score and just out of curiosity, see what we have. Okay, let's do that. See what you have, see what I have. What was the uh, total time we had? 20 minutes? 
Um, 25? I'm at 40. 40. We're still smoking it. And we're looking at about 40. Yeah, it's almost 5.30. By the time I'm done with this, we're going to be at 45 minutes for the total time. Okay. So we're looking at... Which is really pretty good. Make this short little smoke last it is. almost 45 minutes. But uh, you know, if you're not just sitting there just puffing away, if you if you're thinking about the different aspects of it and kind of taking a little notes and jotting things down, or only thinking about the different aspects of it, yeah, you can you can make a 20 minute smoke draw off to 30 or 40 as or 45. Short minutes. as this is, there's no harshness to it. Right. None whatsoever. Yeah, no harshness. Pretty darn smooth. And it had some pretty good changes. It, it, it did. It was, you know, it went from things like, um, well, we had that pepper note right off the bat. Right. And you were picking up some sweetness, which I didn't pick up the sweetness until late in the final third, just starting to approach the nub. But I was getting mineral notes when you were picking up sweetness. Right. You have your score tallied up. Still getting a little bit of that cedary sweetness. Are you? Mm-hmm. Down into the nub. Starting to burn my fingers. Getting hot. Well, I came up with the magic number of 69. You added something wrong. Did I? Or you scored low. What, what, what kind of scores did you get? I had a 38 and a 31. For, for where? Okay, because okay, if, if you look under the different categories, like very, the first category where it says appearance up towards the top, total of 15 points max, each, right. each one was worth five points. Correct. I was given four and a half and five on each of those. I had a three, four, five. Three, a four, and a five? Okay, okay. Um, and then the initial impressions, once again, five points each. I had four, three, three. Four, three, three, okay. Um, I, I gave, I had a five, a four and a half, and a four and a half. Wow. But I may have been um, over over generous, overly generous. But maybe I, uh... see, but that's where, like down at the bottom where, where it has an adjustment, that, that very bottom box, you can add yeah. adjustments. Like if you go through and, you, and look at all your scores and think, boy, I only came with 69 points. There's no way there's only 69. This, this isn't... To me, a 69 cigar goes right in the garbage. <laughs> well, I think I uh, went a little low. This being my first time at actually judging a uh, cigar in its entirety, I would... Uh, it's a learning curve. It is. Yeah, the first first few that I did, I was, I was coming up with some low numbers. Yeah. Um, sometimes I'd come up with some unusually high numbers. Um, and that's why I, I have this this room for um, adjustments. Adjustments. Your overall impression of the cigar. You don't think that's a '69 cigar? No, no, not at all. If, if you were to just if you were to go by all these, if you were just sit back and say, "Oh, I would give this cigar up," just throw a number up there, 90. I'd give it a 90. You'd give it a 90. Yes. Okay. So then, when you think of that, then you can go back and you can say, "Okay, where did I, <coughs> you know, shortchange it?" Yeah. I can see a few places where I did. Right. I came up with, after my adjustment, where I actually took points away. You can either add points or subtract points. I took a full point away because my overall impression wasn't what my score was. So, because initially I gave it a 93 and a half when I added everything up. I said, oh, that wasn't a 93 and a half. I took away a full point. Okay. And then, then I'll write a note, well, why did I take this away? Well, I did have a couple burn issues. Where it was burning a little uneven, right. um, I had to touch it up once uh, early on. But other than that, I didn't have to touch it up. So I don't want to take away too many points. Typically, I don't take away more than one or two points uh, on my final adjustments. Um, <coughs> but I, I did have some burn issues um, as far as it was burning a little uneven. Um, but uh, yeah, so my, my total score at the end was 92 and a half. Okay. That was, you know, and I would think that would be more along the lines of what you were thinking. You said 90 points all day long. Yeah. Yeah. So. 
So there I you see go. What, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's definitely a 90. 90. Easy 90. And 92 I would concur with. Okay. Yeah. So there you have it. So we thank you for once again watching Scorpion Cigar Reviews. We'll catch you next time.